Hi, this is Robin Sampson with HeartOfWisdom.com and BibleJournalLove.com. This is a super quick video. I want to talk to you about passions. I'm preparing a Bible study on Psalms 119, the longest chapter in the Bible, divided alphabetically into 22 beautiful lessons on the value of the Bible. The writer is eloquently passionate about God's Word. Have you thought about your passions? What are your passions and why God gave them to you? I think this story might help you. Let me get to it. I wanted to talk to you a minute about uh, something that um, happened that's pretty interesting that got me um, excited about Bible journaling. And it started around 2011. Well, it started before that because for 40 years, I've had this passion for colors and patterns. And when my children were little, all nine of them, I, I sewed for years. I had a huge sewing room, and I sewed for the girls and the boys. And I got my color and pattern fixed that way. And then when I started writing, oh, in the 90s, uh, I, I didn't get to, to play with my colors and patterns anymore. And I missed it. I used to go by quilt stores, and I remember... Um, going, I'm, I won't look in, I won't look in, because I had this urge and desire to get in there and play with the fabric some more. But anyway, God gave me uh, the passion for the colors and patterns, and I never thought about that before. So in 2011, I had this surgery that I was prepared for. I had prepared my room so I could work and write, and, and I had just gotten into, um, I had been in digital scrapbooking, I have never been a paper scrapbooker. I've always been a digital scrapbooker um, because I'm frugal. And uh, I just couldn't see spending $3 for a set of stickers. Uh, when you have nine kids, you have to be real frugal. So anyway, I had digital scrapbooked to the place I had just started to make my own kits right before I had the surgery. So while I was recuperating, I started making kits. And I mean, I really got into it. I had learned some new methods and styles and... Um, I started feeling kind of funny about it. I thought, I'm making all these kits, but I'm not writing any Bible studies. So I was talking to a friend of mine, Dolores, about it. And she said, hey, why are you feeling guilty? You just told me a couple weeks ago that God gives us passions for a reason. Well, sure enough, I had told her that. Um, I had been listening to Baxter Kruger, one of my very favorite theologians. Uh, he's wonderful, and he, he has a new book out now called Patmos that's amazing. It's a fiction, but it's got a lot of theology in it, and it's a must-read book. Anyway, um, while I was listening to Baxter Kruger, he told a story about getting on a plane with um, a biologist, who was an atheist, and you can you can see I looked it up, and you can get that this it's called um, Baxter's. Hold on one second, I'll find it. It's about a seven minute video. Kruger, it doesn't have the word Baxter in it. It's Kruger on participation, so you can go to YouTube and look that up. It's just seven minutes, and it's a real cute story. So I'm summarizing it, but he tells it a lot better. So this botanist had been in the Caribbean, and he had asked, um, he was going on and on about these plants that uh, he was saving or that were are about to be extinct or something. And Baxter said, um, why do you have a passion for these plants? And the guy said, well, I don't know. I never thought about it. And he said, well, were your parents botanists? Were they, uh, were they biologists? And he said, no. And he Finally, Baxter said, well, I know why. And he said, well, the man asked why. And Baxter said, because Jesus put it in you. Because God gave you that passion. Because that's your purpose. And it really took the man back. And when he was saying that, and you'll see more things. He talks about farmers and different things on this little video clip. You'll see that God puts in us passions for a reason. Now, I, after I, Dolores talked to me, I prayed about it, and I felt good about it, and I took a step, and I kept doing what I was doing. But to me, it was still a hobby. Uh, it, was, it's a, it was a little business. I had started Digi Scrap Delights on Etsy, and I was making a lot of kits and started selling them, and that helped pay for some other websites and things I had up. But I had no idea that four, five years ago, 
when I was taking all these scrapbooking classes on how to learn how to make things, that God was going to use it for Bible journaling. And it just blesses me to that he gives me what my heart desires and what I love doing, teaching, Bible study, and crafts and art, colors and patterns. God has blessed me so much. And, you know, you guys on the Facebook group keep saying, oh, thank you for all your hard work, Robin. Well, I promise you, it's a labor of love. I, uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm, except I'm, when I'm holding grandbabies, then I'm a little bit happier. But in between holding grandbabies, I love colors and patterns and creating things for you guys. And I'm blessed to be able to give you some printables. And when you use one of my printables and post that on Facebook, you have no idea how much that tickles me. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. I hope it helps you. I hope um, I, maybe you don't have that problem. I had years and years and years of legalistic um walking on a treadmill trying to earn God's love, and I had to get rid of that, and Baxter Kruger helped me to do that back in 2011, as a matter of fact. Even though I'd written a lot of books on God and love and how much God loves us, I didn't feel it inside of me until around 2011. So it's been a learning, healing, growing journey, and I'm still going there, and I know that some of you are going through it too. So I'm glad that I'll be able to help you through it, and I hope I can. I'm praying for all of you, and I'll see you in the class. Bye-bye. Go to BibleJournalLove.com to find out more about this 22-day course.